Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I will be talking about what I consider being one of the most profitable quests that you can still achieve in World of Warcraft. So this quest I'm sure that most of you are already aware of it and that probably most of you already achieved it, probably sold some of the items that you can get as a reward. But I think this is still something that many people will find interesting and also I mentioned some of these items in uh, some of my new videos and so I just wanted to provide a quick recap on what is this quest and, this quest and how you can get these different uh, items. So the quest we're going to talk about in today's video is the legendary quest line to get Shadow Moon, this uh, two-handed axe from Wrath of the Lich King. So this quest line is taking place mostly in the raid Ice Crown Citadel. And this is a quest that will take you on average like six weeks to accomplish. So not something you can do in one day or one week. But as I'm going to explain, it doesn't mean that it's something that will take you too much time. It's not really time consuming. So the different items that you can get as a reward from this quest are the reasons why this quest is so interesting. Basically, at the end of the quest, you will receive uh, five different items. You have two toys, one like item that can summon a portal to Dalaran, one tabard, and one mount. So the two toys are the Murandan's Favor. Uh, this one, as you can see, transforms you into a uh, like ice dwarf, like I am right now. Then you have the Sylvanas music box that uh, summons these two Sylvanas lamenters. So not doing really a lot, but still pretty cool. You then have the famous tabard of the Lightbringer, so a unique tabard, really, really cool. Uh, and when you click on it, it activates like a certain uh, thing. I don't remember exactly, but pretty cool tabard. And then you have the reins of the Crimson Death Charger, another unique mount. And again, all these items, you can only get them when accomplishing this quest. So as you can see, all these items have like pretty good uh, values and pretty good sell rates. And again, a lot of people will consider buying these items simply because it takes, as I mentioned, probably around like six weeks to accomplish this quest. And also, you need to play on a warrior, a DK, or a paladin in order to accomplish the quest. So for many people, unfortunately, this is not something they can do. And so this is why they will prefer to just buy the different items from the auction house. So when it comes to the average sell rate for all these different items, it's currently 0.06, which is not too bad considering that most of these items have a very good value. Um, so for the Murinus favor, the average sell, like average price on European realms is going to be between 47 to 70k gold, which is pretty good, and then 60 to 87k gold on US realms. For the Sylvanas music box, it's 56 to 205k gold on European realms and 100 to 160k gold on US realms. For the tabard of the Lightbringer, one of the, or I think actually the only tabard that you can sell on the auction house, it's going to be 150 to 187k gold on European realms and 200 to 237k gold on US realms and for the mount it's going to be between 300 to 365k gold on European realms and 450 to 600k gold on US realms. So as you can see some items that you can sell for a lot of gold. So when it comes to the quest line unfortunately I'm not able to show you how to do it because I don't have a character right now that can do the quest line and I also already did it twice, so unfortunately I cannot do it. But there are two different guides, one on Warhead and one on YouTube, that are extremely well put together. And so I'm just going to link these two guides in the description. And I think you will really find all the information you need in these two guides. Basically, what you want to do is enter the Ice Crone Citadel raid. Then you want to become friendly with the reputation linked to the raid in order to start the quest line. So the Ashen Verdict, what you want to do is just enter in 25 mode Eric and then you want to kill all the trash up to the first boss and then reset the raid again and again until you become friendly. It should only take a few runs because it's very easy to get a lot of reputation. Once you become friendly, the Eye Lord, Darren Mograin, will uh, give you the first quest and basically you just want to go pick up in this uh, cave just here 
uh, this item and then after that you want to get two different uh, boss items from Fester Guts and Road Face. I think these are the fifth and sixth uh, boss from the raid. And when you get all these different items, you can uh, get the first part of the quest line that is Shadow's Edge. After that, you have the second uh, part of the quest line. Basically, you want to try to remove like all your armor if you're doing it with one character that is level 60. And you want again to like kill some of the like mobs at the entrance of the raid uh, until you get 50 of these like souls. So you need to equip Shadow's Edge in order to get uh, these different souls. And when you get everything, uh, you will be able to complete the quest. Again, you can reset and you know like the raid and everything. So normally um, that should be good. And if you already killed the over mob, the over bosses to get the different bloods. You can also just like try to do it in the over parts of the raids and you should still be able normally to find enough mod, enough mobs to very quickly accomplish the second part of the quest. The third one is one of the most difficult parts of the quest line, uh, the unholy infusion. This one is with Pro uh, Professor Putricide. So here, as they explain, you need to accomplish like all these different steps in order to uh, get the shadow infusion. Uh, buff and then you will be able to just get uh, what you need in order to kill the boss and accomplish the quest again I won't really go too deep into all of that because this is really well explained in this guide uh, that we had put together so I encourage you to go watch it but this is something you can do solo it just requires a little bit of attention maybe you will have to uh, you know try once or twice but again, this is really not something too difficult to accomplish and you can do it directly uh, the first week. So just after you accomplish the two first quests. After that, you have the blood infusion quest. So this one is the most uh, difficult part of the quest line. If you want to do it with some friends, it's going to make it way, way easier. But you can also solo uh, this part of the quest. So this part of the quest is taking place uh, with the the boss, the Blood Queen Lanatel. And again, here, as you can see, everything is explained, but basically you will normally need to have, uh, I think, three or four people in order to like accomplish uh, the ritual and to get uh, the buff that will then allow you to kill the, 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 the queen and to accomplish the quest. There are ways to solo this part of the quest. And again, I'm going to uh, share the video in the description. So. You can try to follow these different um, guides. I personally always did it with uh, friends because um, I did, was just not aware of the different ways to do it solo. But you can definitely do it. Many people are doing it solo. And so this is normally something you will also be able to do during the first week. And like that, you should be able to have this fourth part of the quest already done. After that, the fifth part is uh, with uh, the almost last boss in Dragosa, so the boss just before the Lich King. And what you want is just to stand in front of her and take uh, four of her like uh, frost breath, and then you will get the frost infusion, and then you can just kill Sindragosa, and this will be it. So it's something very easy to do uh, if you're doing it on a level 60 character. Uh, normally something that you should be able to solo pretty easily. After that, there is the fifth part of the quest, which is the longest, the most time consuming parts. So basically, you want 50 of these Shadow Frost shards in order to accomplish the quest. And these shards can only drop from time to time from the different boss from uh, the Ice Crown Citadel all the way. So basically, as you can see, there is like between 25 to 50% chance uh, to get some of these shards on uh, Eric mode, especially 25 uh, man mode. But again, as you need 50 of them and there are only 12 bosses, you will have to like do it at least a couple of weeks uh, in a row. Then it depends on how lucky you are with the drop rates. But most likely when you are doing the quest, it's going to be around six weeks. Again, what I meant at the beginning of the video is that even if it takes some time, like soloing the Ice Cream Style Raid is very, very fast. So maybe it will be like around an hour per week. And after that, you will be able to get all these really, really good uh, rewards that 
are, in my opinion, definitely worth doing this quest. So once you have completed the 50, uh, once you have, yeah, I have gotten the 50 shards, you can then um, finish the quest and uh, you will get the Shadow Moon quest. And finally, after that, you will be able to get the last part of the quest where uh, you then have the seal chest and you just go talk to like all the different uh, people that will give you the different rewards. Again, this is definitely something that will take you a little bit of time. But again, in my opinion, uh, this is a really good investment because this is really something you can do very easily. Uh, maybe just the two like uh, blood infusion uh, parts are a little bit tricky. But over the over than that, it's not something too difficult. If you have some friends to help you with these different parts of the quest line that can be a little bit challenging, it's even better. But then after that, you can really do it solo. It's not uh, difficult. And again, this is something that you can do always on new alts. For instance, I did it on my one of my other alts, and I will definitely try to do it uh, when I will have, have a little bit more time on another of my alt because as soon as you run out of these items, it's good to do it again to then have even more of these items up on the auction house. So that's going to be it for today's video. Um, I know that it could have been better if I could have just done the quest and uh, record everything, but unfortunately I was not able to do it. So I hope you will still be able to find all the necessary information in the guides I'm sharing um, in the description. But yeah, let me know if you've already achieved this quest, if you've been able to make some gold with these different items. And also if you have any questions, if you want to start the quest, please let me know and I will make sure to answer these different questions. So I will be back very soon with more videos, with more guides. And yeah, in the meantime, wishing you the best of luck and I will see you all very soon. Bye.